Hi, this is Bob with IQ Agent, and this is a quick tutorial on how to use the IQ Agent HoloLens app. So first I'm just going to bloom and get the Windows menu up. Now I've already got IQ Agent pinned. Tap IQ Agent, it'll launch. Now I've got the cursor up after that, so that means we're in IQ Agent. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the configuration menu to see what mode we're in. So I'm just going to say configure. And the configuration menu comes up and we've got two modes. It's going to come up on yours in internal mode. Uh, if, if I do have IQ Agent installed in my plant, uh, I would put my server address here uh, as well as my port. Of course, my device token, I would have to register with uh, IQ Agent in my plant and then it's going to work like any other client and I can hit test connection and it'll go out, ping the server, and it'll come back with the server version. So that does mean I am connected to a live system and you would be able to see your live process data and schematics and things like that. I'm gonna show you internal mode, and this is what IQ Agent will default to, and that means we have an internal database of points of interest and groups and things like that. I've got simulated process data, documents, and things like that. So you can play around with placing POIs in your lab, uh, testing it out and things like that, just to see what it looks like and get to used to using it. Uh, and then, of course, you can call me and purchase a system. I have uh, some very special pricing for my HoloLens users out there. So I'm going to set this to internal mode. So you see we have the POIs rotate, so you can control if your POI icons rotate or not. But I'm just going to set this into internal, and then I'm going to hit done. Now notice we did have a button there for help menu. This is also new, so if I want to see the help menu to, to find out what commands I have available, I would just say help menu. Uh, this gives you your voice commands, help menu um, gives you this uh, dialogue, and then you know, you've got configure and new item and scan code. We do scan QR codes in this version of IQ Agent. Uh, you just look at it and say scan code and it'll bring it up and the different voice commands that you have. If we go to the gestures tab, it's going to show you the different gestures and basically you're going to use gaze and gestures. So if you're looking at a button and tap it, it's going to tap that button. Um, we have a bloom gesture, we have pinch and drag and things like that. If you look at the how to tab, this is just how to do different things, uh, create new POIs, move them around, get to the menu and things like that. And then we're going to have a section links, which will probably link to tutorial videos like this. You can just kind of watch them online. You do not want to use the remove here because this is the launch window for IQ Agent, so it actually closes IQ Agent. You want to use either the tab back to IQ Agent space or use the button, and this will get us in, into IQ Agent. So I'm just going to tap that and we'll go into IQ Agent. So now that we're in IQ Agent, let's look at placing a couple of POIs. The first thing that I'll do is say new item. So you can see I've got a new menu. The yellow one is a data point. I can put a single data point somewhere. The middle one, of course, is a POI. It's our new icon, and then the info is an info link. So I'm just gonna place a POI. I can either use a tap gesture or I can use my voice command. So first I'm just going to gaze on the POI, tap it, and it's going to give me a menu. So this is my internal mode menu. Of course, if you're in live mode, you'll get your live menu from your plant. But I'll go to maintenance, and you can see the red icons. Those are POIs, or I can just keep going down the groups. But here I'm going to do incoming bank motor, so I'm just going to uh, tap it, and it's going to give me my POI. Uh, and this looks a lot like the POI, say on the iOS um, or the Windows tablet version. If I flip this over, then there's my data. Uh, I've got categories and things like that. I can open up documents and I'm just going to hit back. And then if I close this, then there's my new icon. So I've got this in space. This is a 3D object. The text and everything always kind of turns towards you. But if I want to adjust it either in the POI mode or in, in this mode, I can just hit adjust and I can just kind of move it around. You got to be careful not to place it like inside of a wall, like here that's actually inside the wall. You want to kind of make sure that you're in 3D space when you do this or sometimes it reacts a little weird. So then I'm just going to click done to get out of the adjust mode. And this is called the, the menu here. This is how you adjust it and get rid of it. And we can also use voice commands here. So if I want to close the menu, I can say close menu. Or I can put, I can gaze on the POI and say open menu. 
and it gives me my menu here. And then I can also tap on the POI and it opens. Now the data is going to show just like it does in regular IQ Agent. If I tap on my info view, then I'm showing my info. These are categories. So like for schematics, I've got my schematics. Now you're going to need to load from the, the Windows Store your Office Reader. So Excel Reader, PowerPoint Reader, Word Reader. That way they're going to open a lot faster. If not, everything opens up in Edge and it's a two-click process. This is actually a um, PNG file, so I'm just going to tap that. And then it's going to give you a window, and it's going to say, adjust your gaze to where you want to place the content. So I'm just going to look right to the right, and it's going to launch the content, and I'm going to tap it. And then you'll, you'll hear it kind of make the noise, and then, and then I can use, I can drag and zoom because I've got my uh, control tool. Um, I can do zoom. Now just by doing this I can zoom and so you have to kind of get used to controlling the document and things like this. Once you're done with the document just go back and hit return to IQ agent space and it's going to go back. Okay and then we can use the back button to go um, back to the main menu. These are just categories so we can go in and look at these as well. And then when I'm done I can just hit close. We can also adjust the size of our POIs. So if I tap this you'll see it's pretty big but maybe I want it bigger because I'm viewing it from a long way. So if I want, I can say make bigger, make bigger. So I can make it like really big or I can do the opposite and say make smaller, make smaller. If we just go back to the POI icon and say make bigger, make smaller. So you can use voice commands to change the size. Now let's look at placing just individual data points and documents around areas instead of an entire POI. So I'm just going to gaze into space where I want to place it. Let's say I want to place a data point by that gauge. And I would say new item. And I'm going to get a data point. So I'll just look at that and say select. I could have also tapped it. And then I'll just go to the appropriate POI. Maybe it's coolant system. And then these are the actual data points from the data view. So let's just say it's pressure. I'll tap that. And now I've just got a single data point. Uh, and I can also say make smaller. To make it a little bit smaller, I'll hit adjust. And I'll grab it. And maybe I'll just put it right above that gauge. Bring it out just a little bit. And then click done. And close menu. So now I've got just a data point hanging above that the gauge. If I want a document, let's say it's a set of schematics or something, I'll just gaze again and say instead of using voice commands I'll use a tap and hold and then I'll go to info and release tap and then I'll go to maintenance just pick let's say coolant system manuals change coolant sister. So now this is just a link to that document I'll just click adjust and I'll just put it say right above that motor and I'll hit close menu. So I could um, just tap that and it will open that document. So I'll just gaze to the side and there's my document and I can just kind of scroll through that if I want and when I'm done I can just click remove and return to IQ Agent Space. All right, that's all I've got for today. If you need any help, uh, just give me a call or send me an email. Look forward to hearing from you.